Today, more flowers were laid at the barracks where drummer Lee Rigby was based and beside which he was killed. It's just to show support um, and to pay our respects, really. It's just been awful. It hit home a lot more coming here today. Definitely, yeah, it's upsetting. As the tributes have mounted, so have the arrests. A resident of Hither Green this afternoon filmed counter-terrorism police searching another address. It followed the tenth arrest of the investigation, a 50-year-old man on suspicion of conspiracy to murder. A total of four men are now under arrest. Another four have been released on bail, and two women have been released without charge. The suspected attackers, Michael Adebowale on the left and Michael Adebolajo on the right, are both still in hospital after being shot by police. They're not yet well enough to be questioned. The purpose of the recent wave of arrests has been to find out who, if anybody, provided support and guidance to the two principal suspects. Did they act alone or were other people involved? E, 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 the, the killing has had an impact on the streets. This afternoon there was a march through Westminster by the English Defence League and a counter demonstration by anti-fascist protesters. Thirteen people were arrested. Elsewhere, two war memorials in London were daubed with graffiti. And overnight, a mosque in Grimsby was attacked with petrol bombs. We became really worried about our children, our families, our people who attend the mosque because of some people who did not understand Islam. But the reaction of most to the events last week has not been anger, but sorrow and dismay. Matt Proger, BBC News.